Cardamom is a spice that people have used for hundreds of years in both cooking and as a natural remedy. It started as a key ingredient in Middle Eastern and Arabic foods, but is now also popular in Western countries. Cardamom comes from the seeds of plants related to ginger. It has a unique taste that works well in both sweet and savory recipes. You can use cardamom in dishes like curries, desserts, and meats, and even in drinks like coffee and chai tea. Cardamom comes in various forms to suit different needs. You can find it as whole seed pods, which are commonly used in cooking or ground into a fine powder for convenience. It is also available as essential oil, often used in aromatherapy and in herbal capsules for easy consumption as a supplement. Here are nine health benefits of cardamom, backed by science. Some studies suggest that cardamom may help with certain aspects of metabolic syndrome, a group of conditions that can lead to heart disease and type 2 diabetes. These conditions include obesity, high blood sugar, high blood pressure, elevated triglycerides, high cholesterol, and low levels of good cholesterol. Each of these factors can increase the risk of developing serious health issues like heart disease and diabetes. In one animal study, rats fed a high-carb, high-fat diet showed lower weight and better cholesterol levels when given cardamom powder compared to those that didn't receive it. In a double-blind trial, women who were overweight or had obesity, prediabetes, and high cholesterol took cardamom for eight weeks. They experienced reduced levels of inflammatory proteins, such as C-reactive protein, which are linked to health problems. Another study with 83 people who had type 2 diabetes found that those who took green cardamom for 10 weeks had improved hemoglobin A1c and insulin levels. Some animal studies suggest that cardamom may support heart health, but more research is needed to understand its effects on humans. One study in rats indicated that cardamom could help protect against heart attacks. Researchers believe this might be due to its antioxidant properties, which may improve heart function, though human studies are required to confirm this. Another study found that cardamom oil improved cholesterol levels in rats. After being fed a high cholesterol diet for eight weeks, the rats that consumed cardamom had significantly lower cholesterol and triglyceride levels compared to those that didn't. Cardamom may help lower high blood pressure, according to some research. In one study, 20 adults with newly diagnosed high blood pressure were given 3 grams of cardamom powder daily. After 12 weeks, their blood pressure had significantly dropped to normal levels. This may be due to cardamom's high antioxidant content, which increased by 90% in participants during the study. Antioxidants are known to help lower blood pressure. Cardamom may also act as a diuretic, promoting urination to remove excess water from the body, which can reduce pressure around the heart. In animal studies, cardamom extract increased urination and lowered blood pressure in rats. Cardamom contains compounds that may help fight inflammation. Inflammation happens when your body reacts to harmful substances. While short-term inflammation can be helpful, long-term inflammation can lead to chronic diseases. Cardamom is rich in antioxidants, which protect cells from damage and help prevent inflammation. In one study, cardamom extract, in doses of 50-100 mg per kilo of body weight, reduced at least four different inflammatory compounds in rats. Another study in rats found that cardamom powder helped reduce liver inflammation caused by a high-carb, high-fat diet. Although more research is needed in humans, one study showed that taking cardamom supplements could increase antioxidant levels by up to 90%, which may help reduce inflammation. Cardamom has been used for thousands of years to aid digestion. It's often combined with other spices to relieve discomfort, nausea, and vomiting. In a study, rats given a mixture of cardamom, turmeric, and sembung leaf before receiving high doses of aspirin had fewer ulcers than rats given only aspirin. Another study found that cardamom extract alone could prevent or reduce stomach ulcers by at least 50%. In fact, cardamom extract at certain doses was more effective than a common ulcer medication. Test tube studies also suggest that cardamom may protect against Helicobacter pylori, a bacteria linked to stomach ulcers.
However, more research is needed to confirm these effects in humans. Cardamom has been used for centuries to treat bad breath and improve oral health. In some cultures, it's common to chew whole cardamom pods after meals to freshen breath. Cardamom's ability to fight mouth bacteria might explain why it leads to fresher breath. Even Wrigley, a gum manufacturer, uses cardamom in one of its products. One study found that cardamom extracts were effective against five bacteria that cause dental cavities, sometimes stopping their growth by up to 0.82 inches. Another study showed that cardamom extract reduced the amount of bacteria in saliva by 54%. Cardamom has antibacterial properties that may help treat infections. Research shows that cardamom extracts and essential oils contain compounds that fight various common bacteria. In one test tube study, cardamom extracts were effective against drug-resistant strains of candida, a yeast that causes fungal infections. The extracts reduced the growth of some strains by up to 1.49 cm, 0.59 inches. Other test tube studies found that cardamom oils and extracts were just as effective, if not more so, than standard drugs against E. coli and Staphylococcus, bacteria responsible for food poisoning. Cardamom also showed activity against Salmonella and Campylobacter, bacteria that cause food poisoning and stomach inflammation. Taking cardamom in powder form may help lower blood sugar, according to some animal studies. In one study, rats fed a high-fat, high-carb diet had elevated blood sugar levels. However, when these rats were given cardamom powder, their blood sugar stayed at normal levels, similar to rats on a regular diet, more research is needed to fully understand how cardamom affects blood sugar in humans. Cardamom is often used in Ayurvedic medicine for its detoxifying properties, though scientific evidence is limited. However, studies suggest cardamom may support liver health, which is essential for removing toxins from the body. In one study, people with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease who were overweight or obese took green cardamom supplements. They showed improvements in liver health markers compared to those who took a placebo. Cardamom is generally safe for most people and is commonly used in cooking and baking. It's a versatile spice, often found in Indian curries, stews, and baked goods like gingerbread cookies and bread. Most supplements suggest 500 mg of cardamom powder or extract once or twice a day, but it's important to choose third-party tested brands as the FDA doesn't regulate supplements. For those interested in cardamom, adding it to your meals might be the safest option. Are you going to add cardamom to your diet after watching this video? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And don't forget to like and share. Stay healthy and take care.